I tell you what, I never, you know, you never take a night for granted, and and to have a, a night like that trump. A night like tonight, Trump, that night is pretty amazing. So, good question. We'll have to figure that out. I'll let you know how it goes. There's so much, this is driven by the fans they voted for. Your first number one on the top 200, you know, the, the Supreme Break, that is such a big deal for you. Um, what do you think about this, like, seeing your fans throw a number, but people have been there the whole way? And just, I mean, well, it, yeah, it's everything like that. I mean, when you, when you think about, Obviously, being in the category for Entertainer of the Year and it being your first nomination and into the win, and the first time in the in the category, and to win it uh, with the fans bestowing this upon you makes it just uh, the appreciation for it is at a whole nother level. And I can you know I can honestly say that I mean when I close my eyes tonight to go to sleep, I will I will. Obviously, uh, you know, say my prayers for being so blessed by God and the health to do this. But, but I will be uh, I will be blessed by the fans for for doing this to me because I just I don't know I've just always loved this business and the fact that they know I love it and they want to they want to go and vote and make me an entertainer of the year is unlike anything I've ever experienced. Right here. Hey, Luke. I think anybody. <clears throat> Well, you know, I think what I think what's important is 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 my family has uh, you know just my family has dealt with a lot of tragedy in our life with me losing my older brother and my older sister and that's the first thing you go you know that they're in heaven smiling down on moments like this and and my family as a whole like when I won you know um, top you know top new vocal uh, top new artist and. I mean, that's just what's amazing is we can rejoice in the good things in life because as a family and, in, and all our friends in our circle, I just think about that and know that, that I have people in heaven, you know, smiling down. And, and you think about just the time and the work to get to, heck, to get to just having one number one single, you know, much less you know, put a headline tour together. And there's so many people that are involved that make make me happen. And there's so many people checking on me going, hey, you having a good day? And 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 you think about all that, it all flashes and then you you're overwhelmed with emotion, but then you know you have a you know a a lot of an allotted amount of time to say what you want to say. So I don't even know what I said. I don't even know what I I did. I just know that it was an amazing feeling and, and one that you know, I, I would be amazed if it's ever trumped. I'm Dan McIntosh, I'm Dan McIntosh. I know making music is something that probably comes very natural to you. Hosting an award show, I'm guessing it's not quite so natural. Certainly. So there are two part question. Number one, how do you feel you did? And secondly, were you given any advice about hosting a show that you put to use tonight? Well, as far as a scale of one to ten on how you know I I think I did hosting I I'm I put so much emphasis on making sure that the hosting went well I I, I feel like I knocked it out of the park I mean I, I felt like Blake and I just had a blast and I've I'm, I've really been known to really get excited about stuff and I was proud that I was calm in that moment I mean you can get out there and. And thanks. I was so focused on hosting that I forgot the first line of my new single, Crash My Party. And somehow, I mean, I don't know if y'all picked up on that, but somehow I don't even know what I sang, but I just went blah, 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 blah. And then I got back on track because, I mean, hosting was such an important thing for me. Even, you know, just representing country music, being, you know, being uh, savvy and cool in that aspect, you know, in that position was um was a big deal for me. I put a lot of pressure on myself, and I, I've enjoyed the pressure, but now I'm ready to, I mean, and then, like I said, what, what was amazing is all, you know, people in my management, we were so focused on the hosting that I don't even know if right before the show happened, we could have told you what I was nominated for just because we were just wanting the show to be great. 
And, and you know, as long as the show's great and my performance is great, you know, the nominations and then to, to top this off with the Entertainer of the Year deal just is, is an amazing thing. And I know you had a second part, but. Well, you know, I mean, I have Reba McIntyre texting me before the show, good luck. I mean, you know, she didn't, you know, and then Blake is just a true champion and a true professional. Um, what I was amazed by is, is, is the time leading up to hosting. You know, Blake's busy. I'm busy, but come, come crunch time, you know, when we, me and Blake were reading our scripts and doing all that, you know, he was like, we, he and I, I mean, we were like, let's read through it, let's read through it, let's make it, let's make it work. And, you know, it just lets you – it's cool when you see somebody as a true professional and it, it inspires you to be a true professional, and that's what, obviously, Blake Shelton is. Last question? Hey, we'll, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get a couple more. We're good. Don't be mean. <laughs> no, I'm playing. <laughs> Yeah, I've never kissed Blake, by the way. He, it's all, yeah, he's like, it's like 20 to 1. He's still got 20, on, 20 kisses on me, but anyway. What's the support of your friends and, and your, your colleagues who seem to be as thrilled about this group as you are? Well, first of all, uh, Jason Aldean is an amazing entertainer and, and so worthy of this award. And... Jason and I became friends. I'll never will forget it when I won Best New Male Artist. Well, Jason has won that category, and I never will forget. I walked backstage, and I had gotten the call that I'd won it. And uh, we were out on tour three years ago, and I said, Jason, I just won Best New Male. And he jumped up off the couch this high, and he has always – he has always – supported me and I've always supported him just as friends and and when you have somebody in a category or you know that you're both nominated and he run up on the stage and hugged me I mean I have and Blake was the same way I mean the amount of respect I have for those guys is amazing and the, and the fact that country music pulls for me in some instance there's nothing more gratifying than that and um, I just I love that that's happening to know like when I'm up there when I won it I don't see you know I I don't even know what I was seeing it was like I was on a the tilt a world or something but uh but you know the fact that that people pull for you is so flattering and and it's um it's just oh, gosh I just feel so blessed by it and and you know you start worrying gosh this, did this happen too quick and I don't know but I just I just want to be in this business and have fun and and take country music as a whole do what I can to just make it take it to a whole nother level and, and if all of us being excited about somebody winning an award does that I think the fans need to see it and that makes that makes this whole you know that makes this whole genre more appealing to people when they see us I think you know that's what's funny is you, you hear about the pop world and how you know um, cutthroat it is and when they see us really rooting for one another I think it, it's the embodiment of what country people are about, pulling for your, your neighbor and helping each other out. And I've had so many people just be there for me along the way. Luke, if, if you were really honest with us and honest with yourself, how much of a chance did you give yourself to win? You know, when you're in a category with, with obviously Taylor Swift, I mean, you have to, you have to put her – there's, there's, there's no competing. And then Jason, I mean, I toured with Jason all last year. I mean, in, and uh, I would, I honestly consider myself, you know, just right there. You know, I, I you know, I thought it was a, it was a, it was Taylor's award. And, and when you, um, I, gosh, knows, I cannot even believe it's happened. So, um, you know, you're modest about it. I mean, you know, the other. The other stuff I was up for, you're like, oh, I wish I'd have won an album, and I. But then when he gets to this, it's just like, this is so unattainable. This this feels so unattainable that you can't legitimately get it in your head that you might win it because it, it's just something that's, you know, uh, I don't know. You know that what's that statue in like Rio de Janeiro where the, the 
You know, this is what this this is what that award looks like to me. Just up there on the mount, you know. You know, I don't think it does. It just makes me uh it just makes me uh it, it, the appreciation for my fans, it just goes to a, a, a out of the stratosphere level for me. I mean, um, I think we go with the same thing. Do I? Um, we we go out and I, I've said it. People have always come to me and like, "Hey, there were fifty people watching you perform tonight, and you act like there was a hundred thousand. And then, you know, my thing is. I truly love being on stage. I truly love lighting people's faces up. I feel like that's the most special thing that you can do is take somebody out of a bad place and give them enjoyment by you singing your songs and enjoying what you do. And and I think as long as that's our basis and trying to write the best song and find the best song and and uh, and have fun with this, that's that's that will forever you know, forever be my my kind of mode of action in this business. And um, that's just my path. And that's what's going to make me happy. And, and, and I hope that answered it. I'm, you get it. Thank you, guys. Y'all have, y'all know, yeah. Thanks for hanging around, y'all. Thank you.